Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, because tomorrow, folks, Basil is doing a live trading webinar. This webinar is going to start at 8.30 in the morning, go to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it's only $295 to get into this webinar. And at for $295, folks, what you're getting, you're also getting a full month of Basil's newsletter. You're going to get an amazing education just getting his newsletter because he has so many different archives on his website, okay? And then on top of that, guess what? He's going to be trading live, 8.30 in the morning, 2.30 in the afternoon. You know, we know we have a trader's market just from when I just so the, the last three minutes, folks, the Dow is just up 100. Now it's not 73. And as Basil will say, the day is young. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. So let me just get to this right away. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we try to identify the low bar and we want to count each successively higher peak. The okay. objective is to get you to the fourth highest peak. <clears throat> At that point, other things can happen. Well, on my show this morning, <clears throat> I mentioned, and I circled this little arrow right here with this doji candle, and I said at 9.30, there was this, this turnaround, and that there was an indicator that we will be working with a lot tomorrow. We, and there's that chart, beautiful. A, okay, cool. A, a buy signal, and you got the chart? Yes, sir. Yeah, we do. Yes. Yeah. And, and look what happened. It went to peak A. C, D, and then there's a technique I call the instant restart. But you don't need all this stuff. You just needed this one indicator, this little green line here. Look, it was green, 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 right up until uh, right there. For, sorry, 40, we're talking about 40, 40, 50 entry point. And right here, it switched. And if you want to do a one-minute chart, you got out at 473 on the S&P e mini. But that wasn't the point. The point I was making is I like to talk about the potential for a two-click session, and we're going to go into that a lot tomorrow. And what that means is, is there are times, and, and over the past year, it has just been, it isn't like a dozen times. It's like at least three dozen times. There have been days where the low of the day, actually, it's even more than that. The low of the day was pretty much the low all the way into the afternoon, sometimes into the close, and sometimes the short early in the morning was the short for the whole day. So what's interesting about this is that this 10-minute chart here, just using this one, forget about all the letters, just using this one indicator, confirmed that 9.30 buy, and it stayed green and it stayed green, and even with that pullback at about 11.30, where uh, this went to a peak F and then pulled back, that that green line stayed positive even through the dip. And then finally, I almost sent this out to the den, but I was really so busy I couldn't do it. At 1.59 this afternoon, I got, let me just uh, move this chart to the right, because all of this is going to be exactly what we're doing tomorrow. At 1.59, I got that leg D, and at just, just I think it was 158. At 159, it gave a confirmation of a peak D. That's the fourth highest peak. That's what we're always looking for and started on its way down, and it coincided exactly with a little doji candle. I was talking about doji candles at leg D in the 10-minute chart, and that's where we got that sharp pullback. I, it's it's fascinating how this works. Yeah, it really is, particularly because it gets to a leg D like 30 seconds before the Fed announcement, right? <laughs> and I was, I was about to type in, and I said, no, I can't do that. I just don't have time. Anything could happen between now and then, but that was a peak D in the one-minute chart, the very near term. And then the longer term, which was actually 10 minutes, this is like the daily chart and the weekly chart. It's the same relationship. So that's what we're going to be talking about. And look, here's the 200-period moving average. You know, I always talk about the 200-period sure. moving average. Look at the 200-period moving average, which gave this fabulous set of, of support levels all the way through from about 5 this morning, Eastern time, till that breakout at 9.30. And look what happened. We were right through it. Look what we just did. We are now two, two or three points away from the 4,054 level of the 200 period moving average. That's how powerful some of these techniques. And you don't need all the letters and all that. I'm just showing you really basic stuff, a construct that says you can use this. And yes, it doesn't work every time, but it really gives you a grounding of where, where you can go and what to look for. I love that action. Yeah, there's no doubt. You know what's amazing, Basil, is that no matter how many times with, with Powell's, I mean, he has, that's quite a forceful statement that he's talking out there today that, hey, we're going to get this down to 2%. And it's like, okay, well, you know, the market is not getting that's smoked. That's a challenge. <laughs> you know what I was thinking, and I thought this months ago, 
if every time he talks about it and the market is holding well, you know, Mark, the market eventually just kind of, it learns to live with whatever the parameters are. Yes. So I'm watching this very closely because I sent out an, an, um, um, uh, so to my subscribers an update and I said, we're not doing anything because I said we might go short. And I said, no, I like what I'm seeing. I think there are buyers here at least for a little while longer. And my rule of thumb has always been, and I'll be talking about this, looking out for the first quarter of 2023 in my webinar tomorrow. Uh, I, I always say that if you can survive the, the last week of October and the first week of November in the Dow going towards the high of the year, usually you stay pretty much in that range into the end of the year. Well, we've only got, what, nine, ten days of trading or something? Right. We'll see what happens. Right. And, you know, as Jimmy was saying in the den, there's no doubt that, you know, investors and traders are going to be looking forward to the first quarter to see, you know, how are these companies going well, are these companies making money or not? And we both well, know. A, there, there, there's, in the t yeah, there's in so the much fluff in some of these big corporations, folks. Okay. Right. No, no. Yeah. Well, someone in the in the uh, Tiger YouTube said two uh, percent. What exactly? Why is it two percent? So that's a really good question because he might achieve a lot and not get to the two percent. It might the rates. You know, this is the normalization of rates. I mean, in well, our lifetime. It's, it's the answer to that question. It's two percent because what you want to do, folks, is that you know go back. You know, if y'all learn the sixth, this fifth grade, or whatever, there's compound two percent, and when you compound two percent, your U.S. dollar is not worth a lot of money ten years later. You well, know right. what I mean? That's that's right. why two percent's out there, right? I mean, that that's the reality. They they know that you know you know. The bottom line is that every day that dollar's worth less money. You know, everything's worth yeah. yeah right? Anything fee, it's worth less every day, folks. That's the absolutely. Bottom line. So tomorrow we're going to be looking at all these various aspects. We'll look at bonds. We'll look at different things. But we are going to be trading, and we will definitely trade the E-mini. And then I'm going to add. I've already made a little list of what what at this particular point might be appropriate. We might go three times long the S&P or three times short the S&P or the S the SOX index. I'm looking to have some other trades that are for people who don't just do futures. So it's going to be very exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. And folks, it's very easy to come into the, we the webinar. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right in the front under featured content. Go over there, check it out. You're going to be really glad you did. You're and they will get a booklet. They will get the whole thing will be notated and they will. I will send it out to each person, all the different patterns and the, what we're looking for and, and anything they ask about, I'll put into the... Uh, into the format so that I can send it to them afterwards. Ride him, cowboy, man. Here we come. <laughs> this is going to be good. Well, listen, you have a great night, a safe night. We're all going to be on there in the morning. Thank Making you very money, much, Basil. Tom. Thank you. Riding that wave. Okay, man. Have a great have a one, a safe evening. one. Thank you. Thank you.